welcome to our trigonometry online lesson. Today I want to show you the derivation of the cosine theorem for obtuse triangles. As you can see here, we have the obtuse triangle with the vertices A, B and C. Beta being greater than 90 degrees. In order to derive the cosine theorem, we draw a perpendicular line to the extended line of the side C. And therefore we have H being the altitude of our triangle. We can see two triangles, the red one here and the blue one. Now the first part we see here if we take a look at the red triangle h square plus c plus d square equals b square or also h square equals b square minus this leg here c plus d square. Now if we take a look at the blue triangle we see d square plus h square equals a square or a square equals a square minus d square. We solve both triangles, we solve both equations for h square, therefore we can let the right side be equal to each other. If we expand the left part, we get the equation here according to the binomial formula. And as we can see, we have negative d square on both sides. So if we add d square, we get rid of the negative d square. At this point here, we have an equation where we know something about b, a, c, but there is also the d included here. And usually the three sides of a triangle are a, b, c and therefore we want some equation where we all only know something about a, b and c. If we take a look at the angle beta dash here, the angle beta dash equals 180 degrees minus beta. And the cosine of beta dash the adjacent leg of the hypotenuse, which is d over a. But we also know that the cosine of beta equals negative the cosine of 180 degrees minus beta. But if we solve here for d and substitute it in this d here, we almost get the cosine theorem, but there is still a plus here and an angle beta dash, but actually we look at the triangle ABC and there is only the angle beta. But beta or bet 180 degrees minus beta is beta dash. Therefore, since cosine of beta equals negative cosine of beta dash, we change beta dash here for beta, but we have to also change the sign from plus to minus. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.